New at 6, good news to report today when it comes to our state's unemployment system. The vast majority of people finally watch their unemployment checks arrive in their bank accounts. But 10% of claims are still stuck in limbo. Megan Schiller talked to two people who unfortunately find themselves in that group. It's a small group, relatively speaking, but it's a frustrating one to be a part of. Sure, 90% of the eligible claims filed from mid-March to mid-June are now processed and good to go. But what if you're sitting at home still waiting? Well, I've, I've never filed for unemployment in my life. I'm 54 years old. Today marks day 39 of waiting for this dad from Pine Richland. I have three kids in college. I'm running low on funds. Scott Kirschler is trying to remain positive and he's looking for work. His long career in steel manufacturing ended abruptly on June 3rd. And here we are in mid-July. When should I expect money to be uh, sent to me? I can't hold on that much longer. The state's leaders in the labor and industry department say the numbers are promising. As of today, that's over 90 percent that have received uh, payment. The remaining 10 percent of those are a combination of claims that are unresolved. Unresolved for a number of reasons. Anything from accidentally submitting the wrong info. Just because a claim is processed doesn't necessarily mean that someone is eligible. To working for a college or university where the state needs more details. I check every day to see if there's a change in my status. Julia Hudson filed her claim June 4th. She worked as an adjunct faculty member at a local university. You know, it's not that it's been tricky, it's just been silence. If you find yourself in the 10%, the state encourages you and people like Hudson and Kirschler to keep waiting. In that situation, individuals should continue filing uh, because as we resolve the non-monetary issue, if they are eligible, we're able to then issue all of those payments at once. A day that Kirschler needs to see soon. I'm going to be okay, but uh, I'm not going to be okay if I don't have any money soon. The department tells me today that the staff has worked 189,000 overtime hours since mid-March. And just last week alone, they answered 47,000 emails. So they say for the time being, email's your best bet. Reporting downtown tonight, Megan Schiller, KDK News.